friends, I am Dr. Shweta Mishra, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce and Management, Biyani Group of Colleges, welcomes you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. The topic which we am going to discuss today is some useful definitions in network analysis that is PERT and CPM. Now going with one of the definitions one by one, first I am going to have a look at the activity. Now what is an activity? An activity is an act where the resources and times, where the resources and time is not required. It is indicated by a straight line. Now I am repeating again, an activity is an act in which the resources or time is not required. It is indicated by a straight line. Hello friends, I am Dr. Shweta Mishra, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce and Management, Biyani Group of Colleges, welcomes you all on behalf of GuruGPO.com. The topic which I am going to discuss today is some useful definitions in network analysis, PERT and CPM. Now starting from the first, now what is activity? An activity is an act of work that requires time and resources for its completion. Now an activity is indicated by a straight line followed by an arrow, the length of the line does not indicate the duration, it has no connection with the duration, whether you can have a small line or a large line, it has no connection or does not symbolize the duration. Now moving on to the next is event, an event is an act that signifies the ending of one activity and beginning of another, it does not use any time or resources for its completion, it is indicated by a circle. Now moving on to the next is merge event. Now as is indicated by the name when two or more activities combined in a single activity the event is known as merge event. Now the next is burst event. Now burst event when and from an activity two or more events, two or more activities are dispersed, then that particular event is known as burst event. Now next is predecessor activity. When we will start an activity, the activity that is followed by another activity is known as predecessor. That means before completing this particular activity as is suggested by number 1, before completing the first activity we cannot start the next activity that is second. So for second event the activity 1, the event 1 is known as predecessor activity. Now next is successor activity. So again for 1 the successor activity is 2. Now third is concurrent activities, concurrent activities are those activities which can be started simultaneously by using the same resources and time. Now the last one is dummy activity, a dummy activity is basically an illusion, it does not connect to another activity, it merely shows a connection with one activity or one event to another, it is indicated by dotted lines. Now some more important points in connection with PERT and CPM that are required to be known. Now just have a look. Now just ha have a look at the rules. The first rule is each activity is represented by one arrow line. That is we are going to represent one activity by a single line. We can't represent two activities indicating the same line. Now second is cycling must be avoided in network diagram. When we are creating a network diagram in PERT and CPM, we do not have to follow or create an activity using this type of formation. The activity is always indicated by drawing a straight line. Now third is arrow should always move from left to right. That is the activity should always be indicated using a symbol from left to right. This is left to right. Now next is dummy should be kept minimum. As we have already discussed the dummy is basically an illusion in order to create a connection between two activities or events. So we have to follow that more or less dummies should not be incorporated in the network diagram as far as it is possible. Now last as far as this is possible lines should not cross each other. When we are going to indicate an activity we have to create the diagram in such a manner that one activity do not cross the another activity like in this particular manner. So for more informational video please like, comment and do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel GuruKPO.com. Thank you, have a nice day.